In this episode, I'm going to walk you through the lives and crimes of Devendra Shammer, a successful Ayurvedic doctor who turned killer. He was so successful that he was well renowned in India, but despite his success, he has an unhealthy thirst for money. He was a man who was never satisfied with what he had. He would do anything possible to get his hands on money, even if it means taking the lives of innocent people in the process. Before I continue this story, this is a brief reminder that this story is presented for informational purposes only. It is important for us to remember to show respect to victims of crimes and their families and be sensitive to their plights. And also while you're here, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, click the notification button on your screen to get notified when I post new content. Also react with my channel in whatever way makes the most sense to you. Your reaction helps the algorithm suggest my channel to people who might be interested in the content that I produce. Now back to the story. Devendra Sharma was born and raised in a small village in Uttar Pradesh, India. He was a bright student and showed interest in Ayurvedic medicine at a young age. He went on to study Ayurvedic medicine and became a successful doctor. He had his own clinic and was very well known in the community. However, his life took a dark turn when he invested in a gas dealership scheme where he lost around $823,000. Still reeling from his loss, he decided to run a fake gas agency scheme of his own to make some quick cash. When that wasn't enough to generate the kind of income he was expecting, he opened an illegal kidney transplant racket. Running an illegal kidney transplant clinic wasn't the only thing Sharma got involved in. He also had a passion for cars. He started stealing cars and selling them for profit. He was good at it and soon became one of the best in the business. However, his success came at a price. He would often kill the drivers of the stolen cars as he did not want any witnesses. He was ruthless and had no remorse for his actions. Over the course of a decade, from 1994 to 2004, Davindra Sharma stole automobiles and killed the drivers. He would often illegally harvest the kidneys of his victims and sell them in the illegal kidney transplant market. By this time, he had a gang that he worked with. This gang of criminals would lure unsuspecting victims, sometimes kidnap them in broad daylight. They would then illegally harvest their organs for sale in the black market. They would often target taxi drivers, most of whom were easy prey. They would hire the taxi driver services, have the drivers take them to a remote location. There, they would pick up their accomplices along the way. Together with the accomplices, they would overpower the taxi drivers and then murder them. They would also sell off their vehicles in addition to harvesting their organs. Shama would often dump the bodies of his victims in crocodile-infested canals. Before his arrest, he was said to have killed between 30 to 40 men, most of whom were taxi drivers. He would lure them into his car, take them to a secluded place and kill them. He would then dispose of their bodies in different locations. Davindra Sharma's reign of terror came to an end when he was caught by the police. The police had been investigating a series of car thefts and murders for a long time and they finally had a breakthrough. They found a stolen car and traced it back to Sharma. He was arrested and charged with multiple counts of car theft and murder. The news of Sharma's heinous crimes sent shockwaves throughout the community. People were horrified that a man who had taken an oath to save lives had turned into a cold-blooded killer. His family was devastated and ashamed of his actions. They had no idea about his involvement in car theft and murder. As the trial progressed, the prosecution presented evidence of Davindra Sharma's involvement in the crimes. They had found the stolen cars which he had used for his crimes. The forensic evidence matched his DNA and witnesses confirmed that they had seen him with the victims. 
The case against him was strong and it was only a matter of time before he was sentenced to death. During his trial, Sharma showed no remorse for his actions. He admitted to killing the taxi drivers and said that he did it for money. He claimed to have been responsible for the death of over 100 people, many of whom were kidnapped for their organs to be harvested. His victims were not only taxi drivers, but people whom his gang kidnapped. According to him, he lost count of his victims after his 50th murder. He was a cold-blooded killer who did not care about the lives of others. He was sentenced to death in 2008. However, during his time in prison, Davendra Sharma was a different man. He showed remorse for his actions and begged for forgiveness. He wrote letters to the families of his victims, apologizing for the pain he had caused them. His family also tried to make amends by offering compensation to the families of the victims. In January 2020, Devendra was released from prison after spending 16 years behind bars, but his freedom did not last. He broke parole when he disappeared from police radar and the police did not know where to find him. It was said that he later got married and started a family and the police was looking all over the place for him. When the law finally caught up with him, he was sent back to prison and there he resides to this day. Until next time humans, continue to stay safe out there.